Hey guys, Michael here again. So I'm here to show you real quick how I ran the air hose for the Miller M1 Air Assist. Um, this may work with other air assists, but I'm going to share with you how I did it. And in fact, uh, Mr. Miller is actually going to consider using this as a guide for future people buying his uh, some air assist. So I'm, I'm grateful for actually him using my idea. Um, it does require uh, a couple of parts. You can find those easily online, um, or I think Mr. Miller is actually going to include them in the kit as an offering. But uh, let's zoom in and take a look and see how I did this. So to make this work, you only need three things. First, you need the air hose. This is just a fish tank air hose. I purchased black because I thought the black looked good inside the M1. You're also gonna need paper clips. See these metal paper clips? You need four of them. And this is the small size, I believe. Uh, you don't want the minis. The minis are a little bit too small and you just need four of these. And lastly is the secret weapon is this little keychain ID tag. And this has a little snap on the bottom. I can open it like that and it's just used to put like a little ID tag in there and that has the retractable nylon rope in there and that's where your secret weapon is in that corner now I did take this a step further but you don't have to do what I did if you actually just take this keychain and hook it onto one of the loops of this and hang it down like this that'll be enough you actually take the belt loop and loop it on there but I want to step further include my paper clip to it I used some E6000 craft glue, glued it on there and used some uh, craft wire and actually tied it on there. That makes it tighter against the corner. However, if you did it the other way, it would hang down about like that, um, which is still works both ways. I just want it a little bit tighter against the corner. Let me share with you real quick how I set it up. All right, so here's how I installed my airline on the Miller M1. And I think this will work with any air assist. So I have my air line at a 45 degree angle pointing towards this wall. You don't want it directly pointing at the wall because it will actually collide against this base. So I have it at a 45 degree angle and I have that hose line attached. From there, I threaded three of these clips onto the hose line. You just simply take it on there, thread it through both legs, and you have all three. Keep those loose off to the right. You'll want to take your keychain adapter, open that up, and grab onto the hose and snap that. Once you have that in place, take your fourth clip. I hooked this keychain on my clip, and it, while they're both hooked together, I put it in the top corner of this side. So moving over to the right-hand side, you'll need these three clips already threaded. And there's one vertical piece on the side. I put the first one on there as high up as I can. And it's going to actually going to clip just like that. And then I skip a vertical piece, which is right next to the button. And then I have a next one. I put the next clip. And then I skip one and put the last clip. That's going to put you a little bit to the right of the center of the M1. So here's what it looks like inside the M1. Hopefully you can see this okay. Here's that vertical leg. I have the first clip on this vertical leg. I skip one next to the button. And then I put another one here. And then I skip one and have the third one here. And there's the um, corner. As you can see, I'm on this side vertical piece right here. Now you do want to keep it as tight to the corner as you can, but you don't want it really tight, tight. You want it just kind of hanging there off the base. Um, you have to kind of push this out of the way to lift the base up sometimes. And then the last thing you're going to do is take your end of your hose and slip it through this native hole at the bottom of your M1 and you can run it off to the side. Okay, last thing before I show you the demonstration is this guy right here. You'll see this in the video. This is not needed. I made this when I was trying to figure out how everything's going to work. Um, I went ahead and kept it in the M1, but it is not necessary. So just kind of ignore this in the demonstration video. Now let's take a look at it and see it in action.
So that's how I set up the M1 Air Assist. Um, let me know if you try it and let me know in the comments if you have any issues with it. Maybe we can solve that issue together. Uh, yeah, I think this actually works with this Air Assist and any other Air Assist. I'm really curious to see how Xtool is going to handle the Air Assist hose routing. Uh, maybe they'll use this idea too. Who knows? But uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Give this uh, video a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you next time.